Well, the DNR is asking the Minnesota legislature for state park repair money in the multi-million dollar range. Over 700, over the 2,700 buildings they own statewide are in bad condition. And Itasca State Park has its own fair share of issues. Jackson Bruner has more. A report recently published by the Minnesota DNR revealed a startling fact. They have an over $300 million maintenance backlog statewide, and the help they've received from the state government so far hasn't quite been enough. Part of it is DNR's own fault because we never really sat down and cataloged what our needs were. Their move now is to ask the Minnesota legislature for over $70 million in bonding money, half of which would go toward more urgent restoration projects, such as what people will find in Itasca State. Park. Decades ago, the Nicolette Court building behind me here was a vibrant center for lodging, but mold buildup forced it to shut down, and now the DNR wants to renovate it. It's been sitting here as is for about the last 30 years. The goal is to restore it to its original state. We might uh, uh, redesign where the doors are at, uh, redesign some of the windows. Uh, I don't think we would have the um, the deck up above. At the Lake Itasca waterfront, there are concerns about keeping the lake free of aquatic invasive species during the summer boating season. We w it would be nice to have a pull-off lane. We are doing inspections for that inspection to take place. DNR officials want to find new ways to protect the Mississippi River's health as soil erosion at the headwaters has raised flags for years. Part of our job managing the parks is managing that natural system as well. So you know, it goes to taking care of the river, but it goes to keeping out invasive species and you know keeping the deer herd at a level so they're not damaging vegetation. The DNR knows it's asking for a large bump from the legislature, but for the future of Minnesota's resources, Director Tom Landwer says it's essential. I'm not going to, you know, uh, uh, presume that we're going to be totally successful, but we really have to start trying or at, uh, someday we're going to be really paying the piper by having to uh, just uh, knock buildings down and start from scratch. In the Itasca State Park, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. The DNR report says it would cost them almost $145 million a year for the next decade to maintain and renew all of their parks and buildings. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.